Whether you wear a cowboy hat or a farmer's cap, if you've got cattle, you pay your beef checkoff. But did you know that for every dollar invested, it returns a $5 bill? So get to know your checkoff. Sponsor of this week, Samuelson Says. From time to time on Samuelson Says, I call on you to help me. And this is one of those weeks. I particularly like to hear from cattle producers, but comments are welcome from anyone. The subject this week, where do we go now? Again, I congratulate the agricultural community in Ohio for getting a 64% yes vote on state issue number two. But that raises the question, how do we as an agricultural community, whether it's livestock, grain, or any other commodity, how do we come together and communicate with the 98% of the people in this country who are not involved directly in production agriculture, many of them five or six generations removed from the farm? I would like to hear from you on your ideas on how agriculture can tell its story. Is there a national spokesperson that we should find to tell the story? How do we do it locally, statewide, and nationally? It's a story that needs to be told, certainly deserves to be told, because too many people who make requests that are unreasonable really don't understand what it takes to put food on the table. And as I've said before, if rules and regulations become so strict... For America's farmers and ranchers, as far as livestock care, as far as the environment, then we could face the prospect of farmers throwing up their hands saying, can't do this anymore, and then our food will be produced outside the borders of the United States where we have little or no control. Agbizweek.com. Let me hear from you with your ideas. My thoughts on Samuelson Says.